Hello. 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 Okay. okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, how are you? I'm doing well. Sorry, I couldn't meet this weekend. Okay. Okay. So, so basically, today I will try to discuss about that. Uh, how you can easily quantify the NDVI, mainly minimum, maximum, and uh, average. Okay, and also yeah. use the NAV data set. Okay, so let's go. I can simply share my screen and try to show you that all of the things step by step. Thank okay. you. Okay, so now can you see my screen? Yep. Okay, so here you can see, um, here I already imported this, the NAV data set uh, for the for a specific time period okay and for this specific region i import the so now i calculate the ndvi first of all from here so just simply take a variable suppose ndvi and and then call this image from here and use it the function normalize difference function between two band, um, air infrared and red band, and also put this rename function, put this name such as NDVI. So now I want to show this result. Simply use that the map dot add layer and call the NDVI and click to the run. So now it added the another layer of NDVI for this uh, polygon or region. Okay. So now I want to add the color plated such as use at the make the dictionary and put here at the mean it will be start negative one and max max up to positive one and use at the plated function such as blue then put here at the white and finally use at the green color okay so this is our ndvi map so now from this ndvi map i want to calculate it what's the quantity what is what's the average quantity of the ndvi for this region okay so mainly when you want to calculate it the quantify or values then we need to use the function this fu uh, function called the reduce region so i take a variable suppose i put the variable name suppose mean mean value <laughs> You can use any variable name, no problem. And call this NDVI. I simply call this map of NDVI and paste here. And use a function reduce region. Okay. This is a function. And then I can simply put all of the argument step by step, make a dictionary, curly bracket start, and also curly bracket in in here. After that, I can simply uh, put the reducer. So in this time, it is a statistical part. Uh, mainly in this time, I need to calculate the average result. So use at the art engine dot reducer reducer dot mean. Okay. Then geometry. Geometry is that our ROI, our shape file a scale is the resolution. 0.6 meter here is not need i simply remove and max pixel it need when i want to work with the big region suppose you want to work with the big region then use the max pixel otherwise it's not need so now okay. i want to print this value suppose simply print the mean and the mean value okay i simply call this variable name and click to the run so now you can see it computing the value of mean and dvi okay how how low of a resolution can you go can you go to like point 1 scale yeah point, six. yeah point 6 yeah point 6 is the resolution can you go lower basically uh, this resolution you can see this resolution depend on your satellite image you can see for the nav data set their resolution is the 0.6 meter 
ओके सो पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर दे गेट द स्ट्रक द वैल्यू फॉर द नियर इंफ्रेड बैंड ग्रीन बैंड ओके सो दिस इज द वैल्यू इज द फिक्स फॉर द नेप डेटा सेट लैंड सेट थर्टी मीटर सेंटिनल ट्वेल्व मीटर इन दिस टाइम वी कैन सी इट शोइंग द रिड्यूस रीजन टू मेनी पिक्सेल इन दिस रीजन इट मींस दैट इन दिस टाइम वी आर वर्किंग विद द बिग रीजन ओके हेयर वी फाइंड आउट देयर द लॉट ऑफ पिक्सेल वैल्यू एंड दिस पिक्सेल वैल्यू अक्रॉस द लिमिट ओके सो इन दिस टाइम आई यूज अनदर फंक्शन मैक्स पिक्सेल वैल्यू व्हेन आई वांट टू वर्क विद द बिग रीजन एक्चुअली व्हेन आई कैन गेट द दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम मैक्स पिक्सेल दैट द इट अक्रॉस द लिमिट देन आई नीड टू यूज द वैल्यू मैक्स पिक्सेल ओके So I can simply put the max pixel value, such as one into ten to the power thirteen. So now it work. You can see we can easily get the value for the mean value of this place. So I take a big, uh, big region. So that's why it first time it across the limit of the pixel value. So when I want to mention the yeah. max pixel value, now it can showing the result point two. So we can get the mean and DVI for this polygon point two. Okay. So in this time, you can see I can get the result as a dictionary. So mainly reduce region provide you the value as a dictionary. You can see when I click here, I can get the value. But if you want, you can use only extract the value. Then you can simply put here the function values from get info function. Get information and put here this. Now you can get only for the value. You can see now it print only for the value. We can get only for the value zero point two. Okay, so this is the average. I think you're frozen. Yeah. I think you're frozen. I don't see that on the screen. Okay, now can you see my screen now? Yeah, but I don't see get information. Okay, so in. So if if we simply remove this, then it not need. Simply remove, and then click on the run. Now we can. Okay, I see. I see now. I see now. Yeah. So now I can see NDVI. Average NDVI. This is that. In this time, I want to calculate the suppose maximum NDVI. Okay. So when you want to work with the maximum NDVI, then we need to work with maximum image. In this time, we can get the image. You can see mean. Okay. So between this time period, we can get the mean image. So when I want to work with the maximum, can simply use at the max. Then I can get the maximum image between this time period. And when I use at the max, simply use at the max, then it will be calculated the maximum NDVI for this region. I click to the run. So this is our image, and it will be maximum NDVI image for this region. And you can see this is the maximum NDVI 0.7 for this polygon. When you want, yeah. So it is the total, uh, uh, total uh, average, total maximum value for this polygon. Okay, total maximum value. Such as I want to calculate the mean. Simply please put here the mean. Then I can get the mean image between this time period, and then when I want to put here the mean, now it calculated the mean NDVI. You can see for this polygon, what is the mean NDVI? Yeah. What does the mean mean for the ROI? Mean is the average. Okay. So this, if you if you go to ROI, if you scroll down. Okay, ROI is that our boundary shape file. You can see this shape file is the ROI. I put here the yes. ROI. Yeah. So what does dot min do? I don't understand. What does that do? Dot. Dot min. Min. In this time. Yeah. Yeah. This mean means that in this time, from this time period, it generate the minimum. Pixel value of this image. Okay, and when I want to use at the mean from this minimum pixel value image, it calculated the minimum NDVI for this place. And in this time, you can see we can get very low NDVI because it will be minimum. And you can check the value; we can get the point negative result. 
negative point nine eight for this uh, minimum NDVI. Okay. Okay. Suppose yeah, same process. You want to calculate the uh, median NDVI. Simply put here the median. So now, in this time period, it calculated the median image. And when I want to use the median image and calculate the mean uh, median, simply put here the median and click on the run. So okay, now, so they do it the same thing. Yeah. So now I can get the median image. So this is the median image, and this median image I use for making the NDVI. And now I also get the median value, point two six. Suppose you yeah, need the okay. average same process. Okay. So I hope you can understand about that. I also send you this practice code. So you also practice for your uh, own area and check the result. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for joining. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day. You too. Have a good day. Okay. Bye.